Hey guys, BTR Plumbing here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on my Mansfield Alto. I actually have two of these Altos, so if one of them gets damaged, I don't really care. And something I noticed is there was, um, the rim jet <laughs> right there is chipped. It doesn't bother me, I really don't care. All it does is make more water come out of it, which makes it more powerful. So I was wondering, since I have two of these, I don't really care if one gets damaged much or not. Um, the other one's sitting right there, but, um, this one's in perfect condition. That one is too, except for that chip, but that doesn't bother me. But, um, if you guys think it would be cool, just kind of, like, break these up a little bit to make them bigger. I see how that would flush. That would, that would pretty, that would be pretty cool. But, um, yeah, this thing has been pretty dirty. Mainly because since it's sitting in the dirt, every time it rains, it kind of splashes the dirt up. That's why you see a bunch of dirt everywhere. But, um, yeah, let's give this thing a flush. So let me plug it in. Something I've noticed about this toilet is it's really easy to get it to siphon out. You barely need any water. Like, that's probably plenty for it right there. So let's give it a flush with that much water. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. The sink flush is super easy. So, um... That broken rim jet really doesn't do anything. It's not cracked or anything, so I think a few of them are like that. Yeah, there's a tiny chip in that one. Probably from it trying to be cleaned out, but um, yeah, here's a flush with a tank full. Something you guys have been requesting is for me to put like a Kohler Wellworth tank on the Mansfield Alta, but the thing is, the bolt pattern you see there, it won't fit onto here. It's too big because the three bolt pattern for the Alto is smaller. The bolt holes are closer together, so it wouldn't really work. This thing definitely is a really bad performer. To be honest, it'll probably clog on just that. Wouldn't surprise me, but the tank's about to over go through the overflow tubes. Here we go. Well, that didn't that didn't clog, surprisingly. Let's see, now that there's paper towels in there, when I flush it, it's going to start like a suction in these toilets, I'm assuming, from the air. But let's flush and see what happens. Yep. I don't know if you can see that water moving, but the paint keeps overfilling. So. It would be interesting though if I were to break the rim just to make them bigger or see if I can get a big ring around it. Kind of like an open rim to see what that would flush like. So if you guys would like to see that, just let me know. But um, yeah, I'm probably not going to make too much of a long video on this toilet because it's not the best. But um, there's another flush. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave a like, comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.